Hmm. So usually you don't see anyone just kind of flipping their laptop around. Well, that's because I think this might be your very next laptop. Hey guys, Thundi E here, and welcome to my video on the brand new Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. Now, if you join us for the very first time, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, notification icon, to get notified with more videos like this. I also want to give a big shout out to Asus for sponsoring this video and sending over the ZenBook S13 OLED for me to check out in this video. So why do I say this might be your very next laptop? Well, it's because this laptop packs in a couple of things, portability, function, style, and also sustainability. Because we've been hearing that a lot of that lately. Let's start with the sustainability aspect because it's very vital to how this laptop actually forms and functions. Starting with the packaging, Asus has, of course, 100% recyclable materials in the packaging, which is very versatile and also really reusable. And I'm just not just saying it, it truly is that which I do like to see. Now, the device itself is made from a lot of recycled materials, and you might be thinking, hmm, that might kind of feel cheap. No, it doesn't. It's got a full aluminum chassis, but the build and the material quality is just so smooth and feels very plush. It's called plasma ceramic aluminum. Feels very good, and that front design is truly impressive. I like the fact that Asus kind of played around and gave us something that stands out, but also is not just too grandiose. You've got two different colors which you can pick from. I've got the basalt gray, or you can also pick up the uh, panda blue. Now, colors aside, this device is really light and also super thin. That adds in with the recycled materials in such a way that makes it just really flexible to use. That's why you see me throughout this video kind of just toss it around and carry it quite lightly because even though it's light, it still has some, some gravitas to it. So in terms of height, you're about looking at a one centimeter thickness and in terms of weight, one kilogram or 2.2 pounds, which means it's very thin and it's super, super light. But what does that mean for you as a user? Well, Asus has added a lot of functionality to something this thin with starting off first with a lot of ports. Yes, there are more ports in this device than most laptops you see out there. On the left-hand side, we have two USB uh, Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, as well as a full HDMI 2.1 port. Yes, a full HDMI port, not a mini, micro, or anything like that. And then on the right, we have a full USB Type-A 3.2 port, and then a headphone jack. So, Connectivity aside, you are able to connect what you need to do all the way. Now, it doesn't have a, an SD or micro SD card slot, but I do like the fact it has a ton of ports here, which is impressive. Now, the display is something that we have to talk about. Asus has gone with a 13.3 inch 2.8K display. It's an OLED display, and boy, it is vibrant. It is lovely is great looking, and Asus does a good job here. They make some really good OLED displays in a lot of the devices. And you can see it here because this is a 100% DCI-P3 display, so you're getting the call accuracy you need. And for someone like me who's a content creator, that is something I like with a device like this. Now, under that display, of course, is a front-facing camera, and it records at 1080p for your webcam functionality. But under the hood, this is powered by an Intel 13th uh, gen Core i7 processor, 1355U with the XC graphics. So you're looking at something that can give you performance and also give you some really good battery life. Now, the next question you guys are probably gonna ask me is keyboard, travel, all that fun stuff. Keyboard's great. Typing on it feels really comfortable, very nice travel, even though this device is super thin. The trackpad also is smooth and has great clickability with it. I like that there. Now, it's got built-in speakers, which you can't see, but it, you can, it basically comes through the keyboard underneath the device and does support Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, which means you've got full functionality and clarity across the board. Now, Asus has something else under its sleeve that I really do like. It's the Asus, My Asus app. There's a lot of customization here for people to, to use this laptop to the most of its ability. So for power performance, you've an audio visual, as well as input settings for this device. So you can go in, customize things like your battery care. You can also change the fan profile for performance or whisper quiet, 
for whatever use case scenario you're going through. You've got AI noise cancellation for the microphone, so when you're on a web call or even just recording video, it actually blocks out background noise and I have some going on right now. And then we also have that for the speakers with the AI noise cancellation there, sound modes uh, to of course work with Dolby Atmos and a volume booster as well as also uh, AI functionality for the webcam itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that webcam brings to the table. So speaking of the webcam, this is what we have with the device. I've got my light sources in front of me so you can see how well it functions. And there is a loud noise, so the AI, AI noise cancellation is working here in effect. Those features that I built that are built in into the ASUS My, My ASUS software really helps in customizing and giving a better experience. And I like the way this webcam looks, especially considering how thin this device is. Honestly, that is pretty impressive. I like the fact that it looked pretty sharp and clear and also sounded pretty good, especially blocking out some of my background noise. But what about the speakers? How loud are they and how good are they? Pretty good speakers for a device this size that is thin and small, you usually expect something very tinny and not clear. So the added functionality of that AI volume booster, clarity and all those things really come into play to give you some really good sound on the ASUS ZenBook S13 OLED. So most of you guys also know I do a lot of gaming on this channel and you're probably wondering, hey Thunder E, what about gaming on this device? This is not a gaming device, but one thing I can tell you is that you can still game on here with Xbox Game Pass and of course the Xbox app. And this is even hammered home better with the built-in Wi-Fi 6E, uh, of course, chip, which allows for better connectivity on this device, uh, which means those games on game streaming services like Xbox Game Pass will be, of course, with less lag, better functionality, and you can enjoy it better on a device like this. And that brings me to battery life. ASUS states 14 hours of battery life on this device, and that is impressive for something this thin, light, and also you would expect a smaller battery. In my use case so far, it's roughly been around 12 and a half hours, but again, that to me is really solid. Being able to watch video content for longer periods of time and also jump into some work functionality. And speaking of that, because of that DCI-P3 display, I can go in here and do uh, some editing on here with that Intel Core i7 processor, being able to, of course, scrub through and also render my, my, my videos when I want to. Now, it doesn't render as fast as some of my other devices, but that's not what it's meant to be. It's meant to give me enough power to do what I need to do work-wise and move forward. What do you guys think about the ASUS ZenBook S13 OLED? It's a great device, very comfortable light, great battery life. Sustainability is something that's really key to this device. Plus, ASUS actually gives you a carrying pouch for it, uh, which is pretty nice with the packaging. And it's only priced at $1,399. So leave your thoughts down below, guys, and always enjoy your entertainment.